Hey guys, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, the Patanjali, the Yoga Sutra Patanjali. Um, <clears throat> I've been using this for the last, uh, uh, what, five months now, something like that. Um, started my yoga teacher training course and I do integral yoga and you can look into that and you can find out all about integral yoga and I'll talk to you about that at another time but today I really felt like I wanted to just read you a, a really sh tiny tiny passage from the Patanjali was it, it really s sits with me and it really resonates with me and it's I think a really powerful thing and if you feel bound you are bound if you feel liberated you are liberated things outside neither bind nor liberate you only your attitude towards them that does. And for me, this one line, this, this one little paragraph, not even a paragraph, a couple of sentences, has radically just made me feel different about the way I uh, process my thought and process the uh, way that I think about uh, other people and myself and my relationships and how I'm, you know, I'm on the road to, you know, I'm falling off the path and getting back on, I'm falling off the path and getting back on, but I'm on my road to really feeling into what that means. And, and really what it means is that, you know, only, only what happens around you is what's happening around you. And it's your perception on how that happens. It's how you interpret everything that makes you feel the way you feel about other things. So when someone says something to you that you think is offensive or is, you know, you're not very happy about, you know, you have to turn it around sometimes and think to yourself, you know, do you know, am I going to be responsive or am I going to be reactive to this? You know, do I react straight away or do I just sit back ever so slightly and respond in the right way for me, not for them? You know, the response that they're looking for sometimes is that they want to poke a stick at you and sometimes you just have to think to yourself do you know what I, I, I don't need to I really don't need to react in those ways I need to respond in a way that is best for me and I think sometimes when we feel bound that's how we act and when we feel liberated that's how we act when we feel open and spacious inside that's how we act when we feel closed and tight and we feel penned in by our own mind that's how we react to everything and I would like to think that you know for just even if I can just be that way just for 10 minutes a day sometimes I don't expect to be like that all day every day you know um, I'm a human being the same as everybody else and I'm just saying that this is the path I'm trying to tread now and I've no no, it's not I'm trying to tread, this is the path that I'm walking. And sometimes I will fall off that path. And sometimes I slip and I have a fall. But I get back on that path and I walk that path. And this is the most important thing, is understanding that when you start to open your mind to the fact that everybody else around you can't affect the way that you feel. Only your interpretation of what is happening is what is happening inside of you and you allow that to happen to yourself. So this is how I've started to open my mind to this and it really it is immensely, liber immensely liberating. Um, I'm not saying that I don't fall out with people or I don't you know lose my temper with the dog when he trips me over or you know, or my wife when she moans at me about something and I feel touchy. That you know, that still happens. Of course, it happens. But I know that it happened. I recognise it almost straight away. I recognise it really quickly, and I apologise, and we move on. And um, we don't drag things out for months and months and months. And that is the key. The key is that you to, to just start to see the things that really push your buttons, and and analyse why it's pushing your buttons. You know, turn it on around in itself, 
look at that person and think, you know, are they acting like that because they really don't like everyone around them or is it because they don't like themselves? And if they don't like themselves, then what you need to do is that you need to give them loving kindness. You know, you can't put fire out with fire. You have to have that empathy in you. And, uh, and believe me, it works. It really does work, you know, and I, I wish all the best for everybody. And maybe this week, maybe for just a few days, think a little bit about, um, you know, when you're talking to other people, engage with them, but only allow in what you want to allow in, only react to the way that you want to react. And when you're listening to somebody talking, listen to what they're saying, really, really listen to what they're saying, but really hear them and don't hear what you want to hear, hear it all and only take in what is you're comfortable with and the rest discard. As I'm talking to you right now, if you think this is a load of old tosh, then turn it off and uh, don't worry about it. But if you enjoy what I'm saying and you like the path that I'm walking and you want to see more, then subscribe, share, do what you need to do and we'll continue on our path together. So this is Mahesh, signing out. Peace and love. Take care.